everyone and welcome to Hampshire Library STEM Club. I'm Karen and today we're going to try something that was sent in to us as a suggestion. We're going to try and make a potato plot. To do this you'll need two potatoes, a marker, two galvanised nails. It's very important to galvanise as galvanised nails have a zinc coating. Two copper wires, about five centimetres long, you don't want them too long three cl crocodile clips, a digital clock like a kitchen timer and if you like me have one where you can't clip the crocodile clip to the positive point inside you also need a piece of aluminium and some tape. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the aluminium to the clock. So if your clock has a point where you can attach the crocodile clip, you don't need to do this. And because we're looking at converting chemical energy into electric energy, which is pretty cool, it is very important that you ask a responsible adult for help before you get started. So let's attach our aluminium. So I'm going to fold it over. And we're going to make it fit snugly inside this point pressed against the positive point and then we're going to take a small piece of tape and we're just going to secure it in there there we are so it will look a bit like this uh, as i said if you have it so you can attach your crocodile clip straight to the positive point you don't have to do this step so you'll skip this now I'm going to put it upside down so that it's a bit easier to get to the parts there, but you can still see the clock. And we're going to take our potatoes and then we're going to make a cross or a heart, a smile face, any kind of mark on one of them so you can tell them apart. So I'm going to put a cross on my potato. As I say, you can do a smile face or start anything you want. Just yes, so you know which potato is which. Then we're going to take our galvanized nails and we're going to insert it into our potatoes in one end, just like that. And next we're going to take a copper wire and we're going to insert it in the other end. This is why it's important they're not too long because we don't want the nail and the wire to actually touch inside the potato. There we are. So we have two potatoes with a galvanized nail and a copper wire inserted into it. Next we're going to take our crocodile clip and we're going to attach it to the wire on the potato with the mark on it. Let's clip it on there and the other one we're going to attach to the positive point on your clock. So that is the one with the aluminium if you don't have a place to attach it. If you're unsure, have a look inside and you will see a plus symbol next to the positive end and a minus symbol next to the negative end. So it's going to attach that to the positive end. Then we're going to take our second crocodile clip and we're going to attach it to the galvanized nail in the potato without a symbol on it. Oh, and the other end we're going to attach to the negative part in the clock. So that's usually the one with the spring in it. So you just attach it to the springs. And then your third and final uh, crocodile clip, we're going to attach the two potatoes. So on the potato without a mark, we're going to attach one end to the wire. And on the other, we're going to attach the crocodile clip to the galvanized nail. And now we have a working clock. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So the reason all this works is that the zinc ions from the galvanized nail and the copper ions from the copper wire react inside the potato, but it doesn't have anywhere to go inside the potato. So it's getting pushed out through the wire and through our cables and this whole thing causes electro, electric, electrical energy. 
which powers the clock, which is really cool. Now, in this we used raw potatoes. What do you think would happen if you were to use a cooked potato or even mashed potato? Why did you ever try? Let us know in the comments below how it went. Well, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon to be notified when we upload more videos. If you have any ideas for STEM activity or experiment you would like to see us try, let us know in the comments and I'll see you next week for another fun STEM activity. Until then, stay curious, keep exploring and stay safe.